Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am back with Christy, Daisy, Dolly, and Jennifer for another Everyday Inspiration. I apologize for my voice, I am sick, um, but this goes up tomorrow, so I was hoping to have a better voice, but it's not happening. So um, if for any reason it is really hard for you to listen to because I completely understand. Just put me on mute. <laughs> and if you have any questions about the layout, just leave them in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. So this month's inspiration comes from Christy and this is a piece from her home. So the first thing that I'm doing is taking picture, taking inspiration from her pictures so she has two frames. The first one is a frame with several pictures in a collage, and that is what I am using in this 4x4 photo here, and then a 4x6. My pictures are from the USS Midway in San Diego, and it's a very, very cool ship, and the tour is awesome, so if you ever get a chance, um, very, very neat. So in the middle, she has that arrow and I ran a strip of glue and I grabbed some white crepe paper and I am just kind of folding it on itself to where that glue is. Then where the, the letters are, I am going to create kind of a grid with a few of the ephemera pieces from the Maggie Holmes Sunny Days collection. And here I am trying to add our admission tickets, but I can't seem to fit them in well. So they will end up on another photo. In the bottom left-hand corner, what I did was I hand drew this M and just fussy cut it out. And that is actually just acting as a placeholder right now. Um, I'm going to add some wood veneer. The top piece that says right here is from a Dear Lizzie pack. And then I have this pink paisley turn the page wood veneer pack. And I'm going to use a couple hearts and plus signs and then I found these super cute little paper airplanes and I am going to add those in two places on the bottom because on the midway it is um, an aircraft carrier so um, I thought they were perfect. So that is basically the design of my layout <clears throat> and now I am going to grab some navy blue embroidery floss and I am going to create that arrow that you see and I am going to um, stitch that in. So I just used that template and poked holes around it and then hand stitched the arrow along with the M and three little X's in the top. And then to finish off my embellishing, I'm just going to add that compass flare up at the top. And that is going to do it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe not my voice, but the video and the layout. Make sure you head on over and check out all of the other girls' take on this inspiration piece. I have seen bits and pieces, and I'm super excited. So remember to wear your crown, and we will see you next time. Bye.